Hello friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to create the last thing we need here for our employee management, which is the create API endpoint to list all employees order by last name. Okay, so on the sidebar we have dashboard, employee management, system management, which is a group and has have country, state, city, and department, and the user management has user. Okay. Uh, we worked with that. We have user management, create, update, and delete, change the user, search user by username and email. Okay. Employee management, list of employees, search a filter by name and department. Also with the system management, country, state, city, and department creating a crowd and also search. So the last thing is the create API endpoint. So let's go in the terminal. I'm going to zoom it as always, clear this up and let's say PHP artisan make resource and I'm going to say employee resource. Employee resource like this, hit enter, and now the employee resource is created. Let's go in the VS Code inside the app HTTP resources. We have the employee resource, and let's return here an array with uh, maybe ID if we want, and let's say dollar sign this id now what we have in the employees we have first name last name and i think we need list of list all employees maybe we want to display all the details here so i'm going to display all them let's say first first name like this is going to be with first name in our this is now the field in our table and this is what we are going to show in the api okay so let's copy and duplicate this for the last name okay let's say here last name next one address so address here okay sorry and this address next is going to be country id or if you want we can say just country and this country name now i don't know what uh, we want if you want to display the country id we can say country id like this if we want we can display also the country name but let's say country id and now state id is going to be this state id okay city id is going to be this city id very good also the department id department id made this department id next we have zip code birth date and date hired so let's say zip code this zip code birth date now this birth date and the date hired okay now if i save this sorry Let's save this and let's open our 
routes API routes. This is when we register the API routes. Here we have an example and let's create our resource our route sorry route get and I'm going to say slash employees okay and this one is going to if we want we can say a closure here and get the employees so i'm going to say dollar sign employees like this and it's going to be with a employee model order by order by name order by last name order by last name okay and let's say get them and here return employee resource collection and add the employees inside here now if I save this okay and we if we navigate in the slash employees so let's open insomnia And I'm going to copy the address here. Let's copy the address. Let's go to the insomnia and paste that address here and say API slash employees get request send. Okay. Okay, and this is because we have imported the app filament, but we need the employee resource we created. So let's import the app HTTP resources employee resource and save this. And let's go and try again. Send request, and now we have all the employees here. So the data is with uh, ID, first name, last name, and so on. Okay, friends. Now, if we want, we can we can change this. We can display the department name, but I am not sure what the what this is needed. So here we have only create API endpoint to list all employees order by a last name and that we did here we can order also in the ascending and let's refresh or descending sorry and also get the data so here we have order by last name so last name have d last name e and last name is d here okay friends uh, i think now we are okay with our project so we worked with that authentication user management employee management system management and also the api endpoint for all uh, employees
now. Okay, friends. So here we have the dashboard. We display the widgets for all employees, United Kingdom employees and United States, and you can create your own. We have employees here. Display search. We display the widgets. We can create a new employee and edit the employee as well. We have system management for countries. We have CRAT, search, and so on. For city, state, department, and the user. And that's it, the last video. I hope you enjoy. If you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. All the best and see you in the next one.